Okay, welcome to example 33. I think this is the last one in the integration topic. So if you've followed me all the way through, then well done. Uh, and if you're just jumping in at example 33, I would suggest with respect that you dial back just a little bit. We're looking at um, integration by parts. So it starts way back, I think example 26, the journey starts. But there's a few additional techniques, some of which are, are more relevant than others, but this is a good one to study. I really like it. It's quite an elegant uh, method and it particularly features where our uh, integrand here has exponential and trig functions. Uh, the, the point is if you know your integration by parts already, we're looking to try and select u as a, 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 as a term that's going to disappear like a polynomial. Neither of these are going to disappear when we either differentiate or integrate, they're just going to cycle round. So what you're going to find is, as we're going to do here, when we use integration by parts, halfway down we're actually going to end up with the very original integral to try and solve, in which case it's just going to loop endlessly. So there's a strategy that we have to, to use at that point, a wee intervention. Um, so we'll get to that point. So first of all, we want to apply uh, integration by parts to this. So what we're going to do is that we are going to identify u as it doesn't really matter to be honest because neither of them are going to differ differentiate to one so we just say u is uh, two e to the two x and we'll say that v dash is cos x therefore uh, u dash is we've got e to the two x is a derivative multiplied by the derivative of the uh, inside function which is two so we get two e to the 2x and v is the integral of cos x with respect to x and cos x integrates to sin x plus c. Okay, I don't think we'll need the plus c just now because we're going to go a wee bit further but we'll keep that in the bag. So uh, I'm going to start right over here because we're going to get it's going to get a bit interesting here and this time what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write down e to the 2x. So I'm going to write down the equation here and put the equal sign here. Okay, so what we've got is we've got u times v. So here we've got the pattern top left, bottom right, e to the 2x multiplied by sine x minus the integral of u dash v. So we've got 2e to the power 2x times sine x with respect to x, okay? So uh, I'm just gonna, not much to simplify here, just really take that two out, have that multiply it outside. So we've got e to the two x times sine x with respect to x. So here we've got an integration calculation we can't do, we're still two, a product of functions, and it kind of looks a bit like the one we, that we started with, it's just cos x has become sine x. So let's go with repeated integration by parts. We did that in uh, example what, 28 and 29. So we just go for it again. This time what we're going to do is we're going to try and just consider this one here. Okay, The integral of e to the 2x sine x dx. So we can say that u is e to the 2x and v dash is sine x and u dash is therefore 2 e to the 2x, a bit like Groundhog Day, we've done this somewhere before, and v is the integral of sine x, which is negative cos x plus c. Maybe, we might need to use that. So what we're saying here is the integral that we had of e to the 2x sine x with respect to x, we're going to substitute in for, well there's uh, u v, so we've got e to the 2x times negative cos x, subtract the integral of u dash v. So we've got 2 e to the 2x multiplied by negative cos x plus c, but we're, we don't, we're still going to integrate again, so it doesn't really matter. I tidy that up. We've got negative e to the 2x cos x. Uh, minus, well, we've got we've got plus, really, so we've got negative 1 multiplier here, so that becomes plus. I'm going to take a 2 multiplier out, 
and we've got e to the 2x times cos x dx. Well, hang on a minute. So if I substitute in here, e to the 2x sine x, as we had, minus 2 times, I'm going to substitute instead of that, I'm going to write down all of this, negative e to the 2x cos x plus 2 times the integral of e to the 2x cos x with respect to x. So that's all in the bracket. I'm substituting that in and I multiply it out. So I've got e to the 2x sine x. Multiply everything by negative 2. So I've got plus 2 e to the 2x cos x. Are you happy with that? And then negative 2 times that becomes minus 4 times the integral of e to the 2x cos x dx. Okay? Now look what happens here. We've got, let's see if you can get your head around this. So, we have as our integral here, that's as that's us done two integration by parts. And look what we've got. We've now got to work out the integral of e to the 2x cos x dx, which is exactly what we were setting out to find in the beginning. We've kind of come around the trail and we've ended up back where we started. Because now we would have to do another integration by parts twice and we'd still end up with that again. So there's no way out of the loop. So what do we do instead? Well, it's a little bit of basic algebra, so I'll, I'll give you a simple example uh, which hopefully will make sense. If I had the equation, let's change the colour, x equals you know, 5 plus y minus 4x. We've got 1x here equals something plus something minus 4x. And obviously you would bring the two uh, same variables together and you could add 4x to both sides and you'd end up with 5x equals 5 plus y. And we'd you could even divide through by 5 then to get it in terms of x. So let's have a look at what I mean by that. It, we were trying to find on the left-hand side, we've got the integral. We've got one lot of that um, integration there. And we've got, on the left-hand side, we've got something, e to the 2x sine x, we've got plus something else, and look, we've got minus 4 lots of the same integral. So if I basically add 4 lots of that to both sides, then what I get is 5 lots of the integral of e to the 2x cos x dx is equal to e to the 2x sine x plus 2 e to the 2x cos x. You see what's happened there? That negative 4 lots of the integral has been added to both sides, so that's cancelled out, and the 4 has been added on, and we've got now we're saying that 5 lots of the integral is equal to that, which means that what we were looking for originally was the value of 1 lot of the integral, which means it has to be 1 fifth. Okay, we're just basically dividing both sides by 5, and we end up with a fifth of e to the 2x sine x plus 2 times e to the 2x cos x. Whoa, uh, and do you notice that there's no uh, plus c going on here? Uh, and that's significant. I haven't, it's not that, because I didn't do this last integration, yeah, I always keep saying we do have to keep remembering there should be one which really means that what we have to make sure is there's still a constant of integration at the end, okay? So that's us done our round in circles, as I call it, because we, you, we can do integration by parts and we end up back where we started. And at that point, we then have to do a little bit of algebraic rearranging so that we get one lot of the integral on the left-hand side. It's really a, a nice solution. I hope that makes sense. and. If you go and find some other examples just now and practice it yourself.